Welcome to this week's session with Putnam County District Library, Guiding Ohio Online Grant. This week we're taking a look at something called digitallearn.org. Digital Learn it was actually a project that was created as part of a grant. Um, it does um, have some datedness to it in the sense that, um, for example, I know at one point it is talking about um, the operating system 11 on um, Mac OS and it is and we are now actually up to um, newer versions in that. However, there are some um, tools and information in here that can be helpful, especially as a starting off point. Um, so if you go to uh, digitallearn.org, that's going to take you to this site. And when you look here, what you see are you have some different um, areas of of information that you can start out looking at. You um, could at one time sign up and log in. That ability is no longer there. So when you are creating, if you click here on sign up and log in, what you're going to see is it's, it says that you can no longer create accounts. So if you were to go in and do any of the activities, uh, they suggest that you keep um, print a certificate off if you need to show proof of that. What, this was all created using what is called with Creative Commons. Creative Commons gives you the ability to use the material. And if you go here, what you'll see is it says that you are using this with what they call the attributions, meaning you must, if you're going to um, make changes or whatever you're doing with it, you're going to give um, appropriate credit, but anything here is available to use. Um, like I said, it's a great starting off point. You can scroll down and look at all of the different options that are available in terms of how to do a basic search, intro to email, so forth. There's also up at the top here the ability to search. So I could just simply, if I were to type in Google, for example, it's going to um, send me to where there's an introduction to um, um, Google Maps and how that works. I'm going to take that search out and just go back here so that I have everything listed because we've got our starting out. Um, like I said, here's Mac OS. Same thing with Windows. Notice it's Windows 10. So um, if you're looking at for information basically of how to do a basic search, how to navigate the website, some of this material is not, uh, not going to have changed much. If you're looking for a specific operating system, um, unless you're uh, dealing with one of the older operating systems, uh, you're going to want to um, look for information probably in more detail somewhere else, but it's a great place to start. And what I've got down here, again, be safe online. Any of these are very beneficial. Accounts and passwords, frauds and scams. You've got job skills, how to create it with a resume, um, and searching online, all of this information that can be very helpful. Um, connecting with others, so like how to, an intro to Facebook if, if you're just new with that. Mobile devices, buying plane tickets, and so forth. They're all available here you can find. If you go down to aboutdigitallearn.org, it's going to provide you with more information about how and why this site was created through that grant I talked about. Up at the top of this page, notice we do have the option to change over to Spanish as well. So we have English or Spanish available. I'm going to simply click on one of these. I'm going to go to basic search. And when I go to basic search, what you're going to see is it breaks down. It tells you the number of activities, how many minutes it'll take, and what level this is at. So if I click on this to start, it's going to um, begin playing my video. I'm just going to click here real quick to start. Notice what I've got up here at the top is I've got the information. It's got a place. I can stop and start that. Now, like I said before, the option is no longer there to sign up and log in. So when you are doing this, you're going to want to be able to create, or I shouldn't say create, you're going to want to be able to 
watch through your video in uh, one setting unless you um, want to then be able to um, you could skip if so for example if I were to watch this first one and maybe um, it's like, wait, I already watched through one. I could skip this activity. I could go to the second activity and so forth. So if you're doing this and um, end up stopping and starting, you're going to have to um, keep some record of where you're at. I have here my volume. I also have here the ability to add closed captioning. So that can be helpful because um, That'll be available here at the bottom as the video plays. And then I'm going to go just skip. I'm going to skip all the way here to the end, skip to the next activity, skip it one more time. And notice now I am at the end of this. And when I finish this, then what will happen is at the end of my video, after I've watched everything, I will then have the ability to have this certificate to have for my records. So in other words, the first part was about searching, second was basic searches, three is ads and searching, and now I am at the fourth, which is where I actually can practice. So if I were to click on this and start playing again, So here now I would have the ability to click and notice it told me that I was correct, that that is where I would go to do a search. So the nice thing is, is at the end, I do have um, the activities to reinforce what I watched here in my video. That is basically what you will see when you go to digitallearn.org. As I stated um, before, it's a great starting off point for anyone that's looking and maybe um, any of this information, be it searching, be it Facebook, be it um, uh, say, you know, doing things safely online. It's a great starting off point um, to get started with these basic topics. I hope everyone has a fantastic week.